I am home again, as though I had never left. Bogota. The sights and sounds surround me still. The people. The colors. The smells. I am walking along 7th on a Sunday morning. The shouts of children echo in the downtown buildings, and a radio broadcast begins to fill the air. I stretch toward the sound. Music. Laughter. And motorcycles and noise. Who would have expected this? People running by. Thousands and thousands of people. The Bogota Half Marathon is today. And the crowds line the streets, the streets that have been closed to cars. They admit only bicycles, pedestrians, and runners. Thousands of runners. And I stand and watch. Sonido, sonido, sí. Sonido, sonido. Y toda la gente que nos acompaña, cordialmente invitados a la tarima. Y el vamos a tener los mejores vivos. Acá de los tesoros. Talento bogotano. Así que entonces, para la gente que le gusta el buen reggaetón, tenemos el gusto de hacerlo de presentar a tesoros. Is this the Bogota I was expecting to see? This Bogota of music and laughter, of half marathons on a Sunday morning? of gleaming downtown towers. No, this is not the Bogota I was expecting to see. By the time Sunday rolled around, I had been in Bogota for five days. The first day, afraid to leave the hotel. The next three days, at a conference at the School of Engineering outside the city. Then yesterday, Saturday, being shown around by Diego. And then finally, today, Sunday, exploring, discovering the city on my own. Don't go out at night, they said. Bogota is not safe. So of course I arrived at 10.30 at night, driving through the city streets in the taxi, all alone, watching the motorcycle, afraid of the motorcycle. It could be gangs, or worse, on the motorcycle. When I arrived,
arrived at my hotel, the streets were absolutely deserted except for myself and the cab driver, and I had to trust the cab driver. There was an armed guard with a submachine gun about 15 feet away, and he watched us. As money came out, I looked around. Where was I? What had I done? I was in Colombia. I was at a conference. This is what I was supposed to see. Colombia, Colombia, Latin America. Was I kidding? I didn't really know. Bogota has its bright lights, its tall towers, its Zona Rosa 
and its hard rock cafe, but you cannot get away from the history here. The statues, the arches, the churches, the cathedrals. He salido a pasear. La verdad me fue negada. Que no sabes que encontré mujeres de belleza despersonalizada. He salido a pasear. No le ha vuelto a ser el tronado. Ya nos han colonizado mujeres de belleza. Sure, I could be a tourist. I could look at the churches and the statues and the public buildings and the public square. See Colombia as a tourist sees Colombia. But I saw something more. I saw the people. He salido a pasear. He perdido la jugada. En tu lugar encontré mujeres de belleza despersonalizada. Salt Cathedral was built at the bottom of the line under a hill just north of Bogota. The government just spent six million dollars to refurbish it. It is gigantic. The cross stands more than 60 feet high. But it wasn't the government program or private enterprise that built the cathedral. It was the miners themselves. As we took the cable car down from Montserrat, Diego and I stood in silence, reflecting on what we had seen. The sounds of the traffic drifted up to us. Horns honking, buses roaring. It wasn't the city of fear I had experienced when I first arrived, but it wasn't exactly safe either, we both knew it. Diego said to me, he said, Part of the problem is that everybody tries to get rich quick. They go for that one big score. And in a city like Bogota, that one big score is the rich person who comes down from the north. I said to him, I was looking at the soldiers as they came in, and the thing that struck me about them is that they were so young, they were children. And I wondered what their lives would be like in 30 years, and they were still standing, guarding the streets. And I was wondering, what makes the cab driver want to be a cab driver for 30 years? There's no future. There's no hope. When you define yourself, when everything you are is the way you make money, then everything you are is something very limited. Something without hope. Something without a future. Something with nothing to strive for.
amazing. Nobody pays you to run a half marathon. What I saw on Sunday was not about the money. It was about the people, the people of Bogota. What makes work more than just merely earning a living? It's when the work or something associated with the work becomes worth doing in and of itself. How then to transform a nation? Well, it's been said that the way to create a revolution is not to change the government, but to change the people. These round figures are by Fernando Botero, a Colombian artist from the collection donated by him to the city of Bogota. And as Diego and I wandered around the museum, we looked not only at the Boteros, but at the Clints, the Monets, the Dallies. There was a bunch of kids clustered around one of the paintings, and I commented, they're six inches from a Monet, and they're interested in the frame. But I asked myself, too, why did any of these painters create their art? Was it to make a dollar? Was it to become famous? Or was it because they had to paint? because the art meant more to them than anything else. And I realized the more I saw of Colombia, the more I saw of this happening on an everyday basis. The way I saw the people running the marathon, the way I saw the writing on the walls, the graffiti, the people creating in the streets. And I saw, too, the basis for the revolution in education, not in wires and computers and digital content, but in the examples and the models that we can provide. Because fundamentally, if you want to change a people, you have to ask, how do people learn? And when you ask, how do people learn, it is by patterning themselves, modeling themselves after the examples that they see. Todo sería lo mismo, no hay primera vez, hay destino, e incluso si no existieras, de a poco te imaginas. Así. On Sunday, when I went to the market, there was a boy, maybe six or seven years old, playing the piano at the entrance, his father encouraging him. Is this learning? Diego and I wandered through the Candelaria district of Bogota, looking at the government buildings, wandering between the cafes. We talked about art and music and creativity. At one point, we saw a man repairing a car, showing his son what he was doing as he went along. On-demand learning, I commented. My lesson in learning would come Sunday, after the market, after the marathon, when I decided to take a walk in the park. I was a bit nervous, but I saw women and children playing in the park, and I figured if it was safe for them, it was safe for me. As it turned out, it was more than safe. On one side, there's a group of percussionists just practicing. Taking advantage of the free music nearby is a group of dancers exercising. And as I watch, this group form and reform, becoming something quite more in the process. about the lesson the children were learning.
learning. That you make your own knowledge. That you make your own knowing. That you make your own music. That you make your own dance. It all comes back to the children. What they see. What examples they follow. What they learn to value. What things they see value. Diego and I talked about this as we wandered through the candle area. The learning is saying the right thing or presenting the right content. It's doing the right thing and living the right way. And that's the learning that I was seeing in the park in Bogota that day. Whoa! 
thought that would be my graduation to see whether I had learned to live in Bogota as a Colombian. I felt safe, I said to him. And he said to me, Bogota hasn't changed. You've changed. The ride back to the airport on Monday was during the daylight. Safe as could be. It didn't matter a bit. Ella será todo pasión Pasa a mamá Con sus besos Sus ojos Sus ojos